Welcome to Political Thursdays. I'm CJ. This is my main man Moy here. And you know Moy man, I noticed something earlier. I was I turned on the TV and I noticed Donald Trump sitting in a room full of what seemed like very important people. What was going on in there? So President Donald Trump has invited today all <clears throat> a lot of the big CEOs and owners of manufacturing factories and corporations here in the United States. Hmm. Some of those were uh, U.S. Steel, Lockheed Martin, which is a really big corporate uh, fighter jet manufacturer. Hmm. We, were, we had uh, Ford, we had Johnson & Johnson's, we also had uh, U.S. Telegraph. Hmm. Now all these people, they, they, their, their agenda was to address trade deficit that the United States has with almost every country they traded with. Wow. Which is really embarrassing to hear. Yes, it you know? is. Um, uh, it's, it's embarrassing. Now, that was the first ad agenda. The second agenda was to bring back manufacturing jobs here in the country by leveling the playing field for all the countries to play with. I don't know how they're going to do it. Uh, our Secretary of Sta State, uh, Mr. Tellerson, has went to uh, uh, Mexico to talk about this a little bit and also immigration. Right. And another point that was mentioned there was that they want to specifically cut down human trafficking, which is definitely related with border protection and immigration. And you are really passionate about this. What do you think about that? Uh, honestly, man, I have to tell you, bro, I feel like the, the whole human trafficking is a, is a real issue, mm. uh, but it really boils down to the immigration. Yeah. And, and the immigration ultimately boils down to economics. And so I really started to, it bothers me because I see people applaud the fact that there are children being pulled from their schools mm -hmm. and sent back to their home countries, which mm -hmm. is odd because that's what this country was founded on, immigrants. Mm -hmm. So that really blows my mind. I mean, it's really baffling. Mm -hmm. So I started to do a little homework, man, mm -hmm. and I, I noticed that when it comes to immigrants in a country, it doesn't seem like a bad thing. I, I found, you know, at least three countries with who have immigrants a part of their population, uh, Canada over 20%, mm -hmm. um, Switzerland over 30%, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Australia uh, another one that's nearly 30%, and they all have thriving economies. Mm. So that's mind blowing to me that we would make it seem as though these immigrants are affecting us economically. Mm -hmm. That blows mm -hmm. my mind. Mm. Because honestly, the mm. Mexicans that are here are not competing with the vast majority of the country. Mm. They are competing with the bottom 10 yeah. percent, those who did not graduate from high school. Mm -hmm. or, or college, would you say? No, they're not even college. College is far away. But yeah, it's it, really just high school. Mm. Because after you get the, the college, I'm sorry, the high school diploma, then the, the Mexicans that come here, they are taking jobs that those people won't even take. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are they really affecting our economy that way? I don't believe so. Mm. I think that's a problem. So what we should be focused on is how in the world we can help those individuals that, who did graduate from high school get to college. And why we force people who are right here in our country to pay so much for education. If you really want a country that's thriving economically, mm. you have to produce entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. you have to have investors, mm -hmm. and you have to have scientists who are born here. Don't mm. step outside of the country to bring in more immigrants to become our scientists. Mm -hmm. That's, that's mind-blowing to me. Mm -hmm. would, you, would you say the... Uh, you, I remember you mentioning that uh, for the past few years, the top countries that have uh, had their immigrants coming over here are not even Mexico. What were those countries and uh, why was that? How are they equipped to survive here and become successful? The top two countries are China mm -hmm. who we're really focuses on making sure that their children are well educated. Mm -hmm. In India, and I've never been to India. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen it on TV, I, I watch a lot of videos, and so I, I tried to educate myself on that country as well. And you know what I see? Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people who go out and make it happen, like entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And so when they come to this country, they're equipped to be here. They're equipped to sustain themselves economically. Mm -hmm. They're prepared. When our children are not, what's going on? 
you know what it is? We have a systemic problem mm -hmm. where we make our children become factory workers from the time they are in kindergarten to high school graduation. Mm -hmm. They spend nine hours in a classroom moving systematically with five minute intervals of rest in between to make those people who sat at their round table today mm -hmm. even more rich. If we actually focused on educating them properly where they could produce their own and be self-sustaining, mm -hmm. then they wouldn't have to go work at a factory. There would be no need to bring factory jobs back. We should have grown past that. Mm -hmm. Why are we going back to the 1970s? That makes no sense to me. Mm -hmm. Our children should be producing those factories. They should be making those factories. Mm -hmm. College graduates should be making those factories. Yes. I have a question for you. Yeah. How many times has a country who's had less people thrived economically? Well, I, as far as I can tell you where I was from, it, it's, it's, the population is over the head. So it's really populated. And what happened back home is that because there's a lot, lot more people, competition is very high. Mm. So everybody's slick. Yeah. And you, you have to be slick to survive. It's like a human nature because there's a lot more competition because there's a lot more labor. Absolutely. And uh, I don't know. To be honest, I'm not an economist. Yeah. Um, I, I would love to answer that. I, we would have to. We would love to see what happens. This is why we come here every Thursday, and we express what we see and what we understand and try to share with you. And uh, we'll see what happens. And we'll learn from this. So this is Moen and CJ coming on to you from Political Thursdays every Thursday on Dallas Real. Till next time.